Okay guys, we're gonna run a little battle of uh, 40k uh, guard versus guard. It's uh, just over 800 points, about 850 points. We're running everything as generic, uh, you know, standard standard loadouts. Last uh, Lehman Russ's standard loadout, armored sentinels. Uh, it's equal. Uh, my friend Evan hasn't played in some time, and uh, he uh, wants to play a battle report today. So we're gonna run a an evenly matched game and just see where the dice gods take us today. So we're uh, Evan's gonna be going first here shortly. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit, and we'll uh, update things as it goes. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll check back with you in a bit. Okay, guys. So at the end of turn one. Uh, Nothing decisive yet, but this game may end due to weather because I can actually hear thunder in the background now But uh, as things stand he's done some serious damage to my command tank and actually reduced it down to the next phase on the chart for Russ's uh, I, I've wounded a sentinel he's wounded a sentinel other than that nothing, nothing much has really happened this turn uh, If we get another turn, I'll let you know if not I'll try and Recreate this as best as possible and and say and start finish it on another day. Uh, update you guys in a little while. Did you go through a small imaginable sheet? Okay, guys. So end of turn two. Uh, yeah, some serious damage is starting to get leveled out here. I, uh, my command tank is down to five. Uh, my other Russ is down to eleven. One of my Sentinels is down to five. Um, he's got a sentinel down and I believe now I've actually managed to wound all three of his tanks. Um, one of them I think I've reduced to uh, the next, uh, low, lowering his, his movement and stuff down, but other than that, not a big change. It's basically become a slam fest. Lines have been drawn in the sand and it's just fire, fire, fire and hope the God, gods of the dice are loving what you're doing. But we'll be back at the end of the turn with an update uh, as to what's happening in turn three. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, end of turn three. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a pretty big, pretty big beating here. He's he's hurting me hard now. Uh, he's blow. He blew up one of my sentinels, which uh, did mortal wounds to like four more because they were all so tightly packed there. He's got my command tank reduced to one wound. The other guy's sitting at eleven. I still do have one that's not wounded. As far as he goes, he's got two sentinels that is wounded over there, and all of his tanks ha are wounded, but none of them are like in in the hurt locker as of yet. Uh, I know his tank commander is down to a single dice, but I believe everything else has still got double dice for their wounds. So uh, we're on to turn four here. I'll give you an update again at the end of turn four. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, so end of turn four, I no longer have a tank commander, so uh, Evan is now sitting with two points because he did kill the sentinel already, which is first blood, and then he's just killed my my tank commander, so it's slay the warlord. I have a sentinel down to three wounds now, and uh, most of my other sentinels are wounded as well. I still do have one of my tanks that has no wounds on it whatsoever. Uh, I did manage to kill his tank commander as well. Um, and I've wounded both of his tanks and I have wounded two of his sentinels but other than that it's still anybody's game but he is on the better half of this right now because he's got a lot more wounds floating around the table so we'll update you again in a, f in a few with uh, end of turn five be back in a bit okay guys turn five over uh, we've just decided that we're gonna hammer out turns till there's nothing left on the table and there's a decisive victor so, uh, uh, that turn, uh, nothing was lost, some damage was taken on a couple of tanks, uh, Sentinel took a damage on my side. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of turn five, here comes turn six. Okay guys, it started. In a startling turn of events. Yeah, it seems like I might be making a comeback, I managed to plug off another one of his rusts this turn. Uh, he uh, laid a smack down. He's almost reduced my one of my rusts to its next uh, next level down on the uh, the chart there. Um, other than that, nothing really happened. Other than that, this turn, uh, no wounds were distributed anywhere else. We're going into uh, turn six or seven now. We don't even care anymore. We'll update you at the end of the next turn. 
All right, we'll be back shortly, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, so end of turn 75, or we're not even sure anymore. We don't care. We're having fun. We're having a good time. We're sitting outside. It's a beautiful night. We're playing. We're playing. Uh, nothing new to report on that turn. I killed the Russ on the turn previous to that, so everything else is still standing. His Russ took some damage. Mine took some damage. Uh, yeah, so we're on to the next turn. Update you in a bit. Okay, guys, so it's the turn of end of turn like eight for sure, maybe nine. Uh, we did have to call it because, uh, yeah, the bugs were getting a bit too much and it was starting to turn into a one sided war. I managed to reduce his, uh, last tank. his last tank to an explosion, which did some pretty decent damage on uh, the two, two of the Sentinels that were very non wounded. And okay. I still have a full strength uh, Russ plus another Russ that's just in the second tier. Of uh, of its going down in wound wounds, so we're gonna call it there. It was a good game. Uh, I like to do this all the time. I like to shake hands and thank my opponent for playing with me. And uh, we'll talk to you guys again at another time. And we'll ba be back to our old format for the next one. Yeah. Have a good night, all. Thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And good evening. <laughs>